Hey everybody, I'm David. And I'm Daniel, and you're watching Fear Factor. Yeah, so today guys we wanted to make a kind of fun video with a meaning behind it. We're kind of highlighting the issue of human sex tra trafficking yeah. today, um, but we made a game show out of it. So we both pulled together some myths and not myths about tra sex trafficking and we're going to ask each other. If I get it wrong, I have to eat a pepper from our charcuterie board of hell <laughs> and David is wearing a shock collar made for a great dame his lovely wife is sitting behind the camera with the remote so we're gonna see how this goes I have my gallon of milk ready because I'm gonna throw I up I don't, I don't have anything to like soothe the pain for this that sucks I sympathize not really. <laughs> no. Do you, do you nope. really sympathize? Nope. So I'd say let's get started. Um, I'll ask the first question. Alrighty. Number one, true or false? People who are being trafficked are physically unable to leave their traffickers. I feel like that's a kind of a trick question. But, uh, hey, here's, I, here's what I want I've got, you to know. I'm going to say true, though. I'm going to say true. Ring the bell! <laughs> <laughs> so the answer is false. Although there's a lot of times that people in sex trafficking rings are not able to physically leave. Wow. Well, not, I, I don't want to say most of them, but some of them are able to physically leave. They just are trapped there by psychological techniques like Stockholm Syndrome. This is time for my favorite part. So, because uh, Daniel, uh, he hates anything spicy. I mean, like like he said earlier, even Frank's red hot sauce makes gives, me cry. It, it makes him cry and it gives him uh, <clears throat> repercussions for weeks on end. So I'm really excited about this one. All right, so here's my question. Estimates suggest that internationally only about 0.04 percent of survivors of human trafficking cases are identified, meaning that the vast majority of cases of human trafficking go undetected. Remember, 0.04%. I hate that you put numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say false. <laughs> that answer is true. That is true. Alrighty. So 0.04 percent of survivors of human trafficking cases are identified, meaning that the vast majority of cases of human trafficking go undetected. Which is one of the big reasons why we're bringing awareness to this. <laughs> Jalapenos aren't that bad, man. <laughs> Did you not want these? Is that so good? It's a good <laughs> Oh, this is great. That bad? I have to do more? <laughs> you good? No, what? I just ate a pepper. <sighs> All right, human trafficking involves moving people across state and country borders. Are you asking that? Is that exclusively across state and country borders? Or, like, also across state and country borders? Because I'm going to say if it's exclusively, then it's false. But if it's not exclusively, then true. Okay, you got it right. Your turn. Okay, human trafficking often looks like the movies where someone is kidnapped and brought to another country to be exploited. False. All right, you got that one right. Thank you. That's pretty good. So, however, Taken is such a good movie. Yeah, don't do that one yet, dude. That's a really hot one. I'm just let, just letting you know. So this also has to kind of do with statistics, just a little. 
human trafficking for sex work is reported more than human trafficking for labor. I'm going to say true. I forgot the answer. A few moments later. You got it right. I'm on a roll. I got two right. I'm in the middle. Shotgun. My nerves are starting to run. That's so spicy. I don't I'm hoping I get you on this one. In 2018, the National Human Trafficking Hotline received more calls from California than any other state in the U.S. Oh, this is hard. So it's either California, Texas, or Florida. I'm going to go with false. It's Florida. (laughs) He's eating a pepper. Because that was true. (sighs) California did receive more calls there's no way. State. Florida's too sketchy to not be number one. <laughs> that's Are I, you kidding? That's what I... Alrighty. Come on. How was it? Start up. Let it sit there. Let the saliva build. Let it form. It's probably not even that spicy. <laughs> Oh, God, it hey, man. <laughs> How is it there, bud? You're gonna die. <laughs> Your eyes are watering so bad. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, there's like only half of this thing left. Oh. All right, come on. All right, let's move on. Oh, hold on. Mm -mm. Oh, my God, I think I'm dying. What is the average age of somebody kidnapped and put into sex trafficking? I'm going to go with between... I'm going to go with between 16 and 18. Shock him! (laughs) It is 12 and 14 years old. Wow! That's like a jolt through the brain. Okay. My mouth is on fire. (laughs) Globally, it is estimated that there are 15.9 million human trafficking victims. Of those, 68% are forced into labor, 55% are female, and 26% are children. True or false? True. False. I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I said 50, 15.9 million. The correct answer would be there are 20.9 million. So it's even higher than what you think. I haven't recovered. I don't know what to do right now. <laughs> I can't. I think we're going to start crying. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it again. But we accept all forms of masculinity, even just the tip. (laughs) Almond milk and peppers from hell. Oh, Satan called because he <laughs> robbed his garden. And <coughs> uh, you want to play number game? Nicole, please tell me what the level of shock were. What, what sex trafficking? Diagram. <sighs> what? <laughs> Hold on. Demographics of sef- sex trafficking. Have come out to 62% women, 48% male. I'm gonna go with true. Shock him! <laughs> oh, God. Whoa! Wow! David. That's like the whole left side of my face just like went. <laughs> 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 I'm not editing that out. <laughs> <laughs> Your peppers are starting to float this way. We gotta finish this up. 
We are done. Because I can't do another one. It is estimated that 18,000, between 18 and 20,000 people are trafficked into, into the United States every year. I'm going to go with false. <laughs> I'm very sorry, but that is true. Uh, according to Business Insider, that between 18 and 20,000 victims are trafficked into the United States every year. Can I just lick it? <laughs> I don't want to do it! <laughs> Let's try it, okay? Let's see. Love my way, but forget. I don't think I'm gonna be able to taste anything for the rest of my life. I think um, my mouth is numb. You know, after you've been crying for like hours and then you just kind of like settled. That's how I feel about spice. I'm gonna go throw up in the bathroom. So, all right, well, let's wrap this up. Hey guys, we just wanted to, uh, w once again, just have a little bit of fun with this, uh, but also just bring, you know, the awareness to what's really, what is going on in our culture today. <laughs> I can't even take you seriously. Uh, what's going on in our culture today with sex trafficking and we encourage you guys to like look up the statistics you know look up what's actually going on and how you can be a part of it how you can you know help how you can help in any way because that was really one of the last questions here was can you make a difference and the answer is yes you can you know really just raising awareness to this you know some of the things in light of media like recently you know there's unconfirmed facts about different people out there and different businesses how they operate um, we don't have any facts or anything on that, so we're not going to bring any of that up. But we did want to bring this up and say, you know what, hey, let's all get together and let's do our part and see what we can do to help raise awareness and bring an end to this, you know. I had a pepper for you. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Hey, thanks, guys. <laughs>